Let's get into this wine while we talk. Y'all know what this means, right? Polka dot Paula right here. Hey y'all, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very comfy, cozy day. Pouring down rain, um, no plans to go anywhere. And my shirt today is, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Y'all know what that means. It's time to get into this advent again, this wine advent. Um, and a family tradition. What's, yeah, I guess we could consider it a family tradition. So, um, when Alyssa was in kindergarten, I believe, <clears throat> one of my, um, actually it was my director with Mary Kay. Oh, well, let me back up. Welcome back to another day, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope you had a wonderful day so far. Um, what are we doing today? We're doing family traditions and annual traditions for the Christmas season. Um, Thank y'all for coming on back. I appreciate all of those who have subscribed, who have hit the like button, who have dropped down in the comments and communicated with me. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Um, and if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so because over here we just have fun. We had drinks, cocktails, mocktails, wine. I got some cigars, but I haven't smoked one in a long time, but I have some of those. And we just talk about life you know, a little bit of lifestyle here, there, and everywhere, you know, the basics. So today is gonna be this little wine box and this little booklet here. There's no title on it. And you can see there's little writing in there. I won't like read all of it to you, but like I, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, um, Alyssa was in, I wanna say kindergarten, These are the kindergarten or first grade. And at the time, my Mary Kay director, um, we were doing like Christmas gift swaps and all that kind of stuff. And then we were packing bags, getting ready for our deliveries. And she mentioned that her daughter, Maggie, had a Christmas elf. And I was like, a what? And she said, a Christmas elf. And I was like, elaborate, give me a little bit more because honey, I need to know a little bit more about this elf. And who is the elf and where the elf coming from and what does this elf do? So she was like, it's something that had been a family tradition in her family for years. Let's get into this wine while we talk. Y'all know what this means, right? Polka dot Paula right here. All right, so um, move this little candle down. Oh, this is one of the Christmas candles and it's from Marshall's. It's a Leoben and it's one of, you know, that's one of my favorites. I was trying to see what the the fragrance is, it looks like it says mistletoe something, but it's covered up. But yeah, it's a Leoben and it was $5.99 it looks like. Y'all, I'm so scared I'm gonna spill this wax. Mistletoe spice, that's what this is, mistletoe spice. I might as well take this off now that I haven't peeled it. Um, so she was saying that, you know, back in her family, um, they would do like the 12 days of Christmas. Day three. Can y'all see that? Okay. Um, so she said what happens is each night they would get like a gift. Only if they were good that day. So that day, you know, the kids would go to school, whatever, go to daycare, whatever the age ranges were. And they would come home and if they had a good day then the next morning they'd have this like gift left for them right and it was from their elf and i forgot what their elf's name was but i was like that's pretty interesting that's pretty cool and so she was like yeah and they was like it's kind of an incentive for the kids to you know behave which why we got to be bribing kids to act right why sometimes it don't work because they still act crazy rambunctious disrespectful all that but you know they cheering some of us used to be the same way mouth almighty tongue everlasting that was me um so they would get a gift like i said so i was like oh well, i might try that so i started it this was december 9th and i gotta think back to the year 
Give me a second, I gotta do a little mental math. Okay, mental math done. It would have been around 2006-ish, either 2005 or 2006 when I started. So I was like, oh, let me see how it goes. Cause if it don't work for me these few first few days, um, the elf gonna disappear and they gonna ever come back. I guess it's kind of like the elf on the shelf. <gasps> I just thought about that. That's like the elf on the shelf. I got a, uh, uh, my nail is split right at the top. Um, so I left her a gift, right? And um, I said, um, hello, Alyssa. I came to visit you. Um, and then I said, oh, I hear you lost two teeth. Wow, you are growing up. I hope you like the Christmas puzzle and CD, be good. So the page one is missing clearly because I had already given her the gift. And so I would write my write with a handwriting that was not that she could not recognize. And another thing that um, so that the kids can practice writing because they had to write a letter back to their elf. And so this was her little handwriting. I don't know if you can see it because there's ink on the other side, but she did write a note back. I'm trying to find one that has. Um, here's one. December 20th. Emerald the Elf. I like the dough. <laughs> Love Alyssa. So that day, her gift was Play-Doh. So that's her little handwriting back then. Um, and she actually named it because um, I'm trying to think how she came up with the name Emerald. But when we started doing it, I was, she was like, well, where do the gifts come from? I said, you have a little elf. I guess it's a little elf that comes and drops them off. Because you know, elves are in Santa's workshop. And yes, we did do, do the whole Santa Claus thing. Yep, sure did. So fast forward, she's now 21. And a few years ago, I was like, do you think you're too old for the 12 days of Christmas? She was like, uh, nobody's ever too old for 12 days of Christmas. Now we don't do the whole Emerald Elf situation, but I do surprise her with a different gift each day. And um, I'm not gonna show all of the stuff cause I'm not sure if she's gonna see. Well, she's doing finals right now. So she won't catch these videos until after finals. And so I can show y'all a couple of things, but I normally put it in a little gift bag or some of them I just wrap them in wrapping paper and then um, some of them I wrap them with like tissue paper. It all depends on my mood the day before because it still gets dropped in a little basket or either in her Christmas stocking that's hanging on her door because I do have like light decorations upstairs. So let's get into this wine. Take a little break from Emerald the Elf and get... It's a red wine, y'all. It's a red wine. <laughs> finally, finally it happened to me. Okay, so dang it, I don't have my glasses. This one is the Woodlands, another California landscape, red blend, and it is, ooh, y'all, I cannot see this. Oh my God. Uh-uh, y'all hold on. I was gonna not continue to play myself like that. Absolutely not. All right, so it's 13.5% alcohol by volume. All three of them have been like 13.5%, right? If I'm not mistaken, all of them have been 13.5. That's interesting. But anyway, um, it's a red. And did I just hit myself in the face? Girl, you too excited. So let's, and I swear they semi-glued these tops on. So let's get into Woodlands. And our glass of the day says, lighten up, it's Christmas. You won't be able to see it until I put the wine in it. Well, actually, you might not be able to see it at all because I'm not putting wine, pouring the wine up that far. So you just gotta believe me, you just gotta believe me, you just gotta believe me. Oh, you can't really see it. I'm trying to put my hand back there. Well, you can kind of see it on the backside where my palm is. But um, yeah, so, that's one of my traditions and I actually enjoy doing it because she really doesn't ask for much. She never really has. And so I don't mind buying it. Oh, and here's the caveat to that. Each gift should be under, when she was younger, all the gifts had to be $5 and under. And so like Dollar Tree, um, this is before I knew anything about Target and the, um, I call it the Isle of Shame where they get you up front, the dollar spot, 
Um, so it would be things like when she was growing up, like coloring, color pencils, crayons. Um, what are some of the other things in here? She got a puzzle one time. Do y'all do puzzles? I think I want to get a puzzle and do a puzzle. Um, oh yeah, puzzles. Um, this year she got a few puzzles because she was into puzzles. Um, just note, asked her how was school. The, Dear Emerald the Elf, I'm happy that you brought me something. Love, Alyssa. <laughs> see yeah I know she got like a paint set one year like you know the old school like the little um it's like a rectangular shape and it has the, like the little ovals of paint with the paintbrush she got that in a coloring book one year so that she could paint um and oh that's right it said about the chair she used to have this little chair that she used to sit in um it was like this a little rocking chair type situation and the gift would always go in that chair in the booklet and it had a pencil and or an ink pen a red ink pen for emerald and a pencil or a pen for her depending on if the pencil disappeared out the chair but anyway cheap cheap inexpensive gifts but something that they you know like now let's get into this wine i'm telling y'all now i already smelled the the, the blackberries the cherries baking spices it's like um toasted baked baking spices mm, y'all smell it. it smells really good but it's like some <clears throat> lots of dark um dark red fruits and then of course blackberries but they're not red but i'm smelling blackberries let's see what it says on the bottle The Woodlands represents all that is good with red wine. Flavorful, smooth. Oh, I just got pepper. I just got a little bit of pepper. Um, flavorful, smooth, aromatic, and drinkable for any occasion. Crafted to, hi to highlight the unique character of each, what? Each wine component yet blended harmoniously. So that's all they have on the today's write-up. And this, like, did the font get smaller? I don't know. But let's cheers. Mmm. It tastes like dark cherries for sure. It's really juicy. I can tell you that it's really juicy. It's very smooth. It really is. It's not too bold. Um, I'm not tasting those baking spices, but I can smell them. But that that cherry flavor is like pow. It's really, really strong. And it's really good. And it makes your mouth water. I like this. I like this one. Um, I was trying to see what the finish was like. It has a very short finish. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, the finish is short. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the finish is short because I taste it. It doesn't go flat, but it doesn't linger either. It's nice. It's really nice. And I think this is another good transition wine this one will be a good transition wine now i don't know if you can actually buy these in full bottles or not um i'll have to look it up and see but considering it's just it really is kind of nameless i don't know if the woodlands is actually the name of it or they're just saying this california landscape is the woodlands I'm not sure. Or maybe California Landscapes is the brand of wine. I don't know. I'm going to do a little research on that later on. But this was, um, oh, and out of five glasses, I probably get this one about three and a quarter. It's good, but it's not one that I would just have to run out and go buy again. Definitely. I mean, not that I can buy it for sure anyway, because who knows. But it's not one that if I knew where to get it, I would be like, oh, I got to have that. Mm-mm. 
it's not one like that. It's good, it's drinkable. Um, it's not one that I would pour out or use rather for a dish because it's, you know, like I said, it's drinkable. It's not awful. It's not terrible. It's good. Today was just a little sit down and chit chat and, you know, one of my traditions. What are some of your traditions? I'll drop down in the comments and leave a couple other traditions that I have. Um, I was gonna say something, I lost my train of thought. And y'all remember to like, comment, and please consider subscribing. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.